folks, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click that little red button below. Right there, just below. I'm having fun with this. Anyhow, if you'd like to be notified of my posts first, click that little bell right beside it and it'll send you a notification as soon as I post. Okay, so I'm following more of this Turpin story and I'm sort of digging into the history and the past of these people. Um, I find it very odd that the defense attorney for David Turpin is trying to sort of argue that he wasn't home or wasn't um, there for much of the abuse that happened to the Turpin kids and that that had happened mostly at the hand of Louise Turpin. However, like, <laughs> just because um, he didn't do a lot of the abuse doesn't mean that he is not just as guilty of all of it because he did nothing to stop her. So, so let that be known, folks, that if you do not stop somebody from doing something wrong and you know about it, then you're just as guilty as the party that's doing something wrong. So please be careful and don't get yourselves involved in something too sticky, right? I mean, like, or just don't get involved in something that you feel that you could have a legal battle against you for. So his mistake for sure was not stopping her. And now his attorney is going to try and say like he didn't really know anything about that. That's a crock of crap in my opinion. And I feel like David's going to be just as accountable because he didn't stop Louise in, in her actions, you know. And we're reading stories about how she's choking out her daughters saying that you want to die. Yes, you do want to die and go to hell. And like there's no way that David knew nothing about that, you know. I'm also reading parts of like the 17 year old daughter who had escaped through the window there. Um, she knew barely nothing about her mother at all because all she ever knew was that if she misbehaved, that's the attention that she would get. They would get chained or beaten or starved and that's all she really knew about her mother. How sad is that? That she didn't even really know anything about her mom, right? The 22-year-old boy that was in the home, uh, one of their sons, was actually chained up on and off for like six and a half years. So, again, I feel like there's no way David Turpin's lawyer is going to be able to get away with, oh, he didn't really know what was going on in his own home. Because I feel like he, even though he wasn't his hands maybe tying up or chaining up or beating or choking these children, he certainly knew how Louise was treating them. And he did nothing to stop that. And so in my opinion, he is definitely just as guilty. Tell me what your thoughts are and if you think he's just as guilty or if you feel that maybe he didn't know too much about it and maybe he was out working too much and, you know, his hands were not as dirty as hers. What are, what are your thoughts? It says that when the kids weren't chained up, they were actually locked in the rooms and they were fed very little. So how David could be coming in and out of the home and maybe not necessarily known about this to me is a little bit far-fetched. So please give me your thoughts on this, um, folks, because I'd love to know what you guys are thinking. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really love the support from you guys. And um, please stay safe out there. The arraignment is in a couple of days, so I will definitely keep you posted once we hit that day. Um, fill in your comments below, and thanks for watching, folks. Bye for now.